Hello, my friends, and happy Sunday. It's the 21st of April, and this is Katie Carney, and this is Katie Carney Stitching. And I have so much to tell you. <laughs> so, saddle up with a cup of coffee um, or a drink, and I will try to remember to post down below when I start talking about stitching. Because right now we're going to do a little life update, because if I do it at the end, I'll forget. I know who I am. So my last video was two weeks ago, and I insinuated that I might have some big life changes, and I do. I had, the week my ex and I broke up, I saw a position posted online for a program manager position for a state level, but a national nonprofit, um, and it would really be working with volunteers, gaining volunteers, um, some education outreach, stuff that I have done in the past, and honestly where my skill set in the past has been. Um, but it was the week I a seven-year relationship ended and I could not even grasp the idea of applying for a job. And I thought, comfortable where I am, it's fine. Financially, you know, things might not be great forever, but I'm okay for now. Fast forward a couple weeks and they reached out to me on LinkedIn and asked me to apply for the job, which I did. Um, and I heard, I applied, they asked me on a Friday, I applied on a Monday, they reached out to me Monday afternoon, I had an interview, or maybe Tuesday, I had an interview with HR in a couple days and then a couple days after that I had an interview with who would be my director and then about a week maybe a week later I had an interview with the executive director all of this online uh, who's in Harrisburg and I was offered the position and though I love where I am there's never going to be room for growth I'm always going to be where I am and though I like my job, it does not use the skills that I have gained through my career. Um, and looking to my future as a single woman who has to take care of herself. I mean, I could always take care of myself, but, <laughs> um, you know, who doesn't have the support system that she had for the last several years. It makes the most sense. It was a difficult decision because, again, it's hard to leave someplace where you're happy, but it's the right decision. Um, so anyway, all that to say, in the last two weeks, I have accepted a new job. My last day as an employee of the congregation is the third, and then I took a week off. <laughs> My new supervisor is on vacation the week of May 6th, so I am going to take a week. I haven't had a week off in a like a straight week in I don't I don't know if I've ever taken a full week off. If it was a full week it involved a holiday. <laughs> so I'm going to have a week off. Now my grandmother has managed to fill quite a bit of it up. She's got to go to the bank a couple times, the doctors. <laughs> I'm going to take her out for Mother's Day, but that's all right. I'm I'm excited to have a week off. But you are coming live to what is now going to be my office. So this is the room that I used to sleep in. And then a couple years ago, I moved across the house to my grandmother's old bedroom. And this became, it was my clothing and my stitchy stuff. And that was it. And it had this horrible blonde 70s yellow yellow blonde paneling and I'm gonna convert this room into an office so it will still hold my cross stitch supplies but it will also have an office because I'll be remote in my new job I'll be from home a couple days and then I'll be on the road a couple days so I needed a space to work <laughs> and my friend Susie came yesterday and we painted the walls three of the walls it's called light French gray. It's a very, very light gray. And then the wall that I'm facing is a like dark, dusty rose. It's beautiful. And the colors together are just magical. And honestly, um, the paneling looks so much better painted. 
And it only took us two hours. I mean, it's not perfect. I'm not a professional painter and I will not pretend I am, but it looks great. I love it. I am so grateful that she spent the day here. We also changed the switch plates in here because she accidentally painted over one of them. So then we went to Hobby Lobby and bought new switch plates. And while we were there, I got new drawer pulls, drawer pulls for my dressers in my room. When I was telling people that I did that, I said draw, D-R-A-W, did not add the E-R at the end. And I was like, Katie, it's drawer, not draw. Anyway, I got new drawer <laughs> poles for my bedroom. I needed them really bad in the historic furniture. Um, the, the poles were just in bad shape. So that was a little upgrade that actually should have been really fast and took forever because nothing is easy. <laughs> And then Susie is Fra's gardener and she went out and she found these weeds in the garden and lost her mind and started gardening at 6.30 at night in the cold in April. Something about some invasive weed, I don't know. And then she yelled at me and I started gardening and I was so sore from moving furniture and painting that I could barely walk. And there I am on the ground going, I have things to do tomorrow, why am I weeding? I weeded anyway. And then, because that's not all enough, I, today, with the congregation, they have something called the Associates Program, and that is, uh, you're not a sister, I am not a sister, <laughs> but it's a firming up of a relationship with the congregation. So, they call us, like, the next generation charism car carriers because a lot there's not as many sisters now so they lay people who want to be involved with the congregation can be um because of the associate program so it took almost a year since i started and today was my official commissioning i am officially an ihm associate it was beautiful um it was me uh, my boss, the director of nursing, who I've become pretty good friends with, and a woman who used to work for one of the missions of the sisters. It's called St. Joseph Center. Uh, and she retired from there and is now an associate with them. So it was beautiful. I cantered. I have um, never cantered a mass for the sisters before. Uh, they terrified me too much. But I think it went well. Um, one of the sisters asked me to sing at her funeral. <laughs> um, and if my voice sounds funny, that's why I, I put it all into City of God at the end. Um, but it was a truly beautiful and faith-filled day. And I just feel so lucky that it felt very, it felt like God knew when the relationship ended, I wasn't ready. And when he felt that I was ready. He put the position back in front of me. He gave me time to become an associate. And then knowing that when I left, I wouldn't really be leaving because I would still be involved. So I do truly feel God's hand in this. Um, I know he's with me and I don't want to cry anymore because I cried a lot during commissioning. Uh, <laughs> So let's, let's, uh, let's change the subject. <laughs> so I'm sure you can imagine with all that going on, I've not had time to do a lot of stitching. I think I told, I know I showed you last time the Our Father piece by Anne Makes Things and I have finished it. Um, it's all I worked on. I was really tired of it when I finished it. I finished it last Sunday and... I'm kind of in a quandary. I'm not in a quandary because it's already framed. Um, my aunt, who I'm giving it to, is in an assisted living nursing home, nursing facility. And she, from what I understand, is not going to go home. She is going to stay there. And those rooms are small and you very often have a roommate. So it, it really doesn't fit in an 8x10. You kind of lose a little bit of it. But... I don't care <laughs> because I can't give her anything bigger. She's got to fit this in her room or she might not even want it. Maybe she doesn't have room for it. 
Um, I laced it onto an 8x10 board and I stuck it in an 8x10 frame and so that's just gonna have to be good enough. So anyway, here it is. I love it. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit at the bottom that you lose in the frame. I tried it in three different frames. It didn't matter. Still lost it. I use an 18 count winter blues by the Stitch Me and the Called For DMC. I laced it myself. This is just a frame I had in stash. Um, it's funny. I had thought about leaving. So we don't say anymore in the mass Catholics don't. We don't say for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Obviously I know it, but we don't usually say it. And then it also says Matthew 6, 19, 13. And I thought about leaving at least the Matthew, amen, Matthew part off, but then I did it. And now I kind of regret it because I don't, I'm losing a little bit of it, but it is what it is. She won't care. I don't even know if she wants it. I like it. I don't know. I'm very self-conscious about giving gifts. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, something just fell on the floor. Awesome. So there it is. And I'm sorry the light's not great in here. With the overhead light on, the lighting was horrible. So this is just light from the window and the window out there. But in it's April. It has been cloudy for weeks. What did I lose to the floor? Oh. My friend Sarah got me this at um, Michael's on clearance. It's a little diamond painting kit for Harry Potter. Love it. So fun. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. So that, w that was an entire... Of my two weeks, that was an entire week. That was it. Was that... Um, finish and then I framed it this morning because last Sunday I didn't stitch at all because we moved a bunch of furniture the two dressers that were in here went downstairs to Fra and her dresser went back upstairs to me and then all oh, it's, I'll be sore for weeks anyway what have I worked on I worked just a little bit on my April monthly Quaker. I need to finish this. This is going to go to Ohio with me. So here's what it looks like. This is by From the Heart Needle Arts. And I have January, February, and March done. Now I need to get April done. And here I'm using an 18 count oatmeal Ada. And I'm using the DMC this month. And let me just get my needle out of the way. go here's what I have so far so I closed up the circle and you can imagine how excited I was uh, that it met up and then I did the first couple letters and I did this when did I work on this I don't remember it was all one sitting but I was distracted I was doing something else um so I'm back to that this week, God willing, though I leave on Thursday after work for Ohio. So then first I have a little piece of, I don't want to call it haul, a gift. Um, so my friend Steph, um, she was like, she is the one who made me the Katie stitching bag with the glittery vinyl front and the um, pet project keeper in the like pinks and greens and beautiful fabric but she um wanted to try out a new clasp for her bags and that's a magnetic clasp so she was like hey can i send this to you well that's not what she said i was like hey i'll be your test subject <laughs> and she's like well i already picked out fabric for you and she did and it's gryffindor fabric because i'm a gryffindor and she's a slither slytherin and it's one of her envelope bags. And please look at how beautiful this is. It's absolutely stunning. She's incredible. And this is my new favorite size bag. I want all my bags this size from now on. And I love the envelope. And I actually really like that it's not vinyl because for the first time, probably because it's very hot in here, I was going through my kitted stuff last week when I was 
getting ready to paint and some of my vinyl fronts had stuck to things so keep that in mind anyway the new closure is a magnetic closure so you can't see it and she wants me to like take it to work and test it and see how it stays closed so far it stays closed 100% if you close it so you can't just go like this well you can actually if it's so I had my project on a hoop the floss scissors and my tablet in here because the pattern I'm working on is on my tablet and I had to it fit but I had to close it and as so far as long as it's closed to start with it stays closed see stays closed love it so I really like the magnetic closure personally that's personal preference so anyway, the inside fabric is also Harry Potter, and there's her little sticker made by Stephanie. She's on Instagram. Can you see that? Uh, she's Will Stitch for coffee. I love this bag. I would like 10. Thank you. Uh, and then I'll show you what I have in here. So this is the 911 Stitcher's Fault. She posted that she was going to start the Mary Poppins sampler. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to start that. Promptly text messaged Jen Gorski because when I want to start something, she's my girl. She has me. She's always like, yeah, you should definitely start that. And I was looking and it turns out that the designer who is... How do you say her name? Uh, Lena Ova Cross Stitch. I'm going to assume she's from Eastern Europe somewhere. I don't know where in Eastern Europe. Anyway, there's a Lord of the Rings one, which I had seen. We love this. Definitely going to stitch this. I have to sneeze. Hold, please. I'm back. Sorry, my allergies are so bad. Anyway, so here's the Lord of the Rings one. Love it. Definitely going to stitch that. But, but wait, there's more. There's a Harry Potter one. Obviously, I had, to, had, to, had to have it and had to start it. Now, in all of these, I'm not doing the entire chart. There's no way. The Mary Poppins one has like 40-some thousand stitches. So for the Harry Potter one, I'm going to do... Oh, sorry. I'm, oh, let's go. Let's go. Just, let's go. Hang on, I opened the wrong one. Okay, so for the Harry Potter one, I'm gonna do the four sections, but I'm not gonna do the outside border. And then for the Mary Poppins one, I'm gonna do here, here, and here, not any of the border and not this bottom part. And then for the Lord of the Rings one, I'm going to do the same thing as the Harry Potter one. I'm just going to do the four sections without the border. Now, I need your help. I pulled out what is a 28 count light gray even weave. I think it might be, it's very soft. I'm wondering if it's a Zweigart. There's no modeling at all. It's just a light gray, which is obvi obviously a color I love. I do not have enough to do all of them. I do not know where I got it. It was in my stash. Somebody probably gave it to me. I love it. I love it. So if anybody knows what this is or where I can get it, let me know. Here's my start. I am doing this one over one on what I think is 28 count. The stitches are very small. I think it's 28, I'm assuming. And it's definitely an even weave, so it's really easy to do one over one. And I really like it. That's all I have done, though, since I started it Sunday night. That's it. N not much at all. <laughs> um, but I really love it. I'm going to work on that tonight. I'm not going to take that to Ohio. I'm going to take the April Quaker and hopefully I will get the May Quaker kitted and I can take that with me on the off chance that I finish it. 
finish April, and then I'm also going to bring the prayer of St. Francis because that's very easy to travel with. Usually, you know, I'm a prairie school or travel girl, but this time, because I'm behind on uh, the prayer of St. Francis, I have to change it up. So those, that's it. That's all I worked on. <laughs> um, and I don't know how much more I'll have in two weeks to show you, but I'm sure I'll be back anyway. I did, I have to tell you, when I moved all my shelves, I went through all my stash, and there's a lot of stuff I want to work on and start, and it, apparently the start-itis has not left me and is not leaving me anytime soon, and I am just going to go forth and start. <laughs> So anyway, if you um, are the praying kind, if you could keep me in your prayers while I have this big transition at work. Um, it has been a year of transition. Um, it was a year ago that I went into AFib. By the way, my cardiology appointment went great. Thank you for those prayers um, and good thoughts. I, it was a year ago that I went into AFib. Uh, it was a few months ago that Mark and I broke up. And, um, it's just been a, it is a time of change and transition. And I'm so grateful for all of you. I am so glad that I have cross-stitching as an outlet and all of you as my friends know that I think of you and I pray for you and I love all your comments. Keep leaving them because I love to get them and, um, keep stitching and know that you're in my thoughts. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.